CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. What's going on weather wise as far as we're concerned in South Florida? Of course, we've been watching that disturbance, which last night we were talking about not looking too good, too organized, which is good for us, and it looks even less organized today. Here it is moving to the west. There is the center of the disturbance near Puerto Rico, but really all the bad weather, the gusty winds and squalls is following it, and there's going to be a flash flood threat for Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and possibly Haiti as well in the coming days. But little tropical development is expected with this, so it's very, very unlikely it would become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. The, the disturbance itself forecast to track to the west northwest. And once again, as we were talking about this big jet stream dip that is going to cool us off, is going to take whatever is left of it and turn it quickly to the northeast. So it's out of here. We're not worried about it at all. In terms of our radar, it's showing showers and then a few thunderstorms around. We've seen some showers moving from time to time from south to north over the Keys as well as over the mainland. Had some pretty good rains across parts of South Florida earlier. And much of the activity now is over inland areas. In fact, you can see it there from our Everglades. It's Holiday Park camera this afternoon. West Broward looking off to the west. Pretty looking sunset and temperatures on the warm side. 81 in Miami, 82 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 85 in Key West. Eight on the stickiness scale. It is really humid out there. Feeling like 87 degrees, a wind gusting up to 21. In fact, it feels like temperatures upper 80s to the low 90s everywhere in South Florida. But there's relief in sight. The cold front right now ahead of it. Everybody's in the 80s behind it, 50s and 60s. And we're going to get a piece of that cold cold air. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're still in the tropical humidity. The front comes through late on Thursday, probably Thursday night. So by Friday morning, feeling very, very nice. Low humidities, cooler temperatures. It'll feel crisp outside by South Florida standards on Friday morning. Until then, though, mighty muggy out there. Some spotty showers overnight, a low near 76. Tomorrow, very warm and humid. And mostly afternoon showers, maybe even a thunderstorm. High near 87 for voters. Wind southeast 10 to 15. Seas running 2 to 4 feet. Moderate chop on the bays through the rest of the week. Just two more warm days and probably later on Thursday, the humidities will be dropping Friday 76 and 64 looking great right now. The weekend looking good, especially Saturday chance for showers on Sunday. Back